Hey everybody, it is Courtney here. Today I'm going to be doing an empties video. Finally I'm doing one kind of on time so that way I'm not overflowing with products and my video is not super super long. So I'm just going to jump into it. This is probably about a month and a half to two months of empties I would say. So I have some stuff that I'm just getting rid of and some stuff um, that is just no good, but I will get to that. I'm always going to have a few of these empties, of course. First off, it's the Winter Candy Apple from Bath & Body Works Hand Soap. I have three different scents. Vanilla Snowflake and Snow Kissed Citrus. Next thing I have is Golden Pear and Brown Sugar. This one is a shower gel. This is something I just recently got. Well, I shouldn't say just recently got, but it's more recent than any of my other Bath & Body Works purchases. I bought this over at the semi-annual sale in January, I believe it was. I was looking for some new shower gels and I just decided to start kind of using these, but I will never pay full price. I will only get them when they have the sales. I still, I'm on one right now and then I'm probably just going to end up picking something up at the drugstore. It's just, to me, a little bit easier than soap now. I know I used to say I love soap, but this is just a little bit easier for me. And it feels a little bit more nourishing than soap, I, sh I will say. Next couple of things are in the, like, kind of hair care. I finally finished up a sample of the Pantene Air Spray Hair Spray. This was good, but it did make my hair feel very crunchy if I used too much. So I'm glad that I got that in a sample and didn't on a whim buy the full size. Next I have Tried and True Batiste. It, um, this scent is the cherry flavor scent, whatever you want to call it. Again, I always get it at Marshalls. This one I got for only $4. I already have two backups of that brand. <laughs> Just love it. Next I have the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clarifying Mattifying Toner. I liked it and I didn't like it. I feel like it did not pull out all of my dirt and also I feel like it irritated my skin a little bit because I'm using, I just started using a sample of the Clinique skin thing, like step four clarifying lotion, whatever it is, and it's not irritating my skin. My f skin doesn't feel like warm at night, so I kind of feel like this did that to me, so I would not repurchase this, but I am glad that I got to try it out because I did get it when Ulta was having a sale, so I did not pay full price for this. Next thing I have is a brand I love, but I'm not sure that I 100% like this. Maybe it was just a sprayer or whatever, but this is by Pharmacy. It's the Skin Dew Hydrating Essence Mist and Setting Spray with Echinacea Green Envy. It was just a little sample size. I'm not sure if I got this in a Sephora Play or if it was one of the um, like coupon codes that you could do on Sephora when you do your orders. I just didn't, there was something about it I didn't like. I think it was the spray, the sprayer on the container and also the smell. Um, but I also didn't feel like it was that great of a setting spray. But I do love almost everything else from pharmacy that I have tried except for that. <laughs> Next few things I have are masks. I was able to remind myself to do quite a few of these. I have um, a mattifying and anti-blemish Sephora one. It's the green tea one. So I have the SNP. It's the Animal Dragon Soothing Mask. I recently got this in a Sephora haul, I believe, and it's the Shea Lip Mask. I did like it, but I didn't see enough results of like hydrating and things like that to purchase more. I think I still have one from a purchase a little while ago, but it's not something that I'm going to continue to buy. And the last mask I have is the Tony Moly 
I'm Real Red Wine Sheet Mask. I did like this, but it's technically for pore care, and I just have really big pores, so I didn't see a benefit in this one here. Um, but I did like how it felt on my skin, and if I was to buy this, like, that pack that they have on Amazon where you can get 10 masks for like $10, I would buy it again, but I would not pay $4 for one at like Ulta or the drugstore or something like that, but I would pay a dollar for it. I just have a Clarisonic brush head here. Love that one. I also have, finally I finished this up. It took me forever because I was going through samples and things, but this is the Max Studio Moisture Cream Moisturizer. This, I love it. The only downfall to this is I feel like besides hydrating your skin, it doesn't have any other benefits to it. Like no anti-wrinkle, no sunscreen, nothing. Um, but I do love this cream. I just wish it had more benefits to it to continue to purchase it and the price point that I have. I think it's like 30 something dollars. Oh my God, I have a hummingbird right outside my window right now just staring at me. That was the cutest little thing I've ever seen. Anyways, next thing I have is a Glam Go Glow Youth Mud, the Tingle Exfoliating Mask, the black one. This one, I believe, yeah, this one dried up on me, so I'm just get, getting rid of it because I could not finish it before it dried up. I kind of, like, forgot about it. Uh, this one here I did finish up. It's the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Um, turns out I like the this one, the white one, better than any other mask that they have. So if I was to repurchase a sample size like this or a big one, I would get the white one if I was to take that plunge on the price of it. Next thing, I am so excited that I finished this because it took me forever and I, it surprisingly did not turn on me. So this is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. And this is when it had like that tin foil packaging and it it was just horrible. <laughs> Recently they updated their packaging and all that stuff. But that's how long I've had it. It's at least three, three or four years. But it was amazing. It did kind of smell like tar, if I remember correctly. But I loved this mask definitely would repurchase it. I just have so many lip things to go through right now. I also have a sample size of the Caudalie Eye Lifting Balm is what I'm just going to put it as. This I did like too. I love the smell of this. I loved how it felt underneath my eyes. A lot of those eye creams that I've been using just stink for some reason. I don't know if I'm getting bad ones or if that's just how they all are but I loved this eye cream. All right, next couple things I did not finish, but they're next in line, so I'm just gonna show them. I'm just getting rid of several nail polishes here. It's just ones that I don't use and I'm never going to use. So some are China Glaze, some are Orly, some are Ulta, and then I do have one from like an indie brand that I've had probably for several years, so I'm just getting rid of it. Next thing I'm also getting rid of, I did this, I did have this in my list of things. I still haven't filmed the video. I am horrible, but it's in my list of things to use up for the year. And I, I, was, I used up the other one that I had, but this color is just so bright that I don't even want to put it on my lips to go to bed in. And how it makes my lips feel and look and kind of like, Nope, I'm just throwing it out. I'm so sorry, but I'm throwing it out. The next two things I have are from Clinique, and they're one is Pink Peony and I think and Black Honey. So I finished, I definitely finished the Black Honey, but this one I was so close to being done with it, but I turned it too up too much and I went to go put it on and it broke off. So technically I didn't finish it, but I was so close to finishing it that it kind of like pissed me off that it, <laughs> that it broke off. But two things that I finished up that I wanted to finish up this year, 
I am very, very excited about that. So the next thing, I actually went to go open a new mascara today because I figured a couple of the ones that I'm going to show you, I've just had open for a little bit too long and it was time for some new ones. This was the Be A Bombshell mascara. I don't even know how long ago I got this. Is when I had like Ipsy or Birchbox, so it was like a couple years old. Don't judge me. But, oh my god, like I literally can't even pull it out that's how dried up and disgusting this mascara is so I was like yep throwing it out <laughs> I like couldn't believe it I've never had a mascara that long where I did that because I hadn't used it all right next thing I had opened up I attempted to use once and I just can't do it because the brush is the most oddest thing I've ever tried to use on my eyes and I can't do it. This is the, it's a JaVinci mascara and I believe I got this in one of the Christmas duos with a lipstick. I still have the lipstick, I do like the lipstick. But look at this brush. What is that about? Literally, it is just a ball. And I, as you guys have, if you've been watching me, I've said in the past that I poke my eyes way too much with certain mascaras this is a hazard for me I cannot use this because I will be crying every single day if I try to use this because I will be poking myself in the eye every single day so I just had to get rid of it <laughs> something I could not deal with next thing I have is the Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof mascara this one I did like um, I will say that I do like the original version a little bit better not because this isn't like waterproof enough um, I just felt this is a little bit drier to me and I like a wetter mascara so I wouldn't repurchase this one but I definitely would repurchase the original version and I have like a sample and a full size of that that I need to go through the next thing is the Tarte gifted mascara love this mascara this is one of my favorite favorite mascaras I will continue to repurchase this the next thing as you can see I dated it some of these I just forgot to date them but I normally date the ones I got it I got the idea from one of you guys or someone that watches watch one of my videos and it's just really nice to have because I do forget when I do open my things so this one was long overdue because it was December so I had it open for six months but I just, I love this. This brush reminds me of the Tarte Gifted brush. And I just love to prime my eyelashes to make them a little bit longer. So I will always do that step in my makeup. Alright, next couple of things. I have our perfume. I only have one sample. It's the Toca Limon sample. I did like this, but I did feel like it was a little bit too strong on me. So it's not a full size that I would repurchase, but I do, I, th I think I do have another sample size of that. Next thing I was very proud of myself. It's the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Completely finished this up. I am a little bit sad because when I wore this, I did get a lot of compliments, but I am so glad that it is gone because I'm finally depleting my full size perfume collection. All right. Next thing I have is some wax melts. This one I did not finish. This one is the Chesapeake Bay Candle Home Scent in Macintosh Apple, which is my favorite scent of all time. But this wax here is such a BI to get out of the warmers that I refuse to finish burning this <laughs> it literally crumbles up so much and you have to sit there and scrape and scrape and scrape and I'm not about that life so I'm gonna stick to my Scentsy and then there's one other thing brand that I have that I love too because they're so easy to get out but speaking of Scentsy I have two scents I have cozy fireside which is one that I got for the winter this smelled so good I freaking loved it it was so strong had such a good throw that it's something I will definitely get again when Christmas time comes around. The next one is Aussie Plum. 
this one was pretty good it was strong as well would i repurchase it mm -hmm. not 100 percent sure all right let me try and speed it up because i'm still getting very long um this just some makeup wipes they were okay these ones were from my local grocery store. I was in a pinch and I was at the grocery store buying groceries, so I figured I would pick them up. It had 30 in them, and let me tell you, these were the most saturated things I have ever used in my life, but it left like this like nasty film on my face afterwards that I had to go in with something else. I mean, I was going to go in with something else anyways, but... If I wanted to do something quick because I was being really, really lazy at night, I I wouldn't be able to because this just left my face feeling so kind of gross afterwards. So I would not repurchase them again. And the last four things I have are just things that I am tossing because either it doesn't match me well or I never use it and never will use it. And I have three bronzers and one highlight. So this one has a little smiley face because I wanted to try and use it up this year, but it's just not going to happen. So this one, it's by Doll 10 and I think I got in a subscription box as well. And it's a cream highlight in the color Champagne. Now, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful, the color is beautiful, but I never, never reach for this. If you saw that it looked used, that's because I would take it and swatch it on my hand and say, oh yeah, maybe I'll keep it, and then put it back in the bin and never use it again. <laughs> so I'm just getting rid of it. The next thing, it's the Balm Betty Luminizer, and it's like a bronzer for them. This is too shiny and sparkly. I got this off a hot look, so I didn't pay full price for it anyway, so I'm really not that sad about it. But it's just so shimmery and and orangey so it's not something that I'm ever 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 going to use the next thing I've been trying to use this for the longest time and I've just finally decided it's too orange for my skin and I don't need this many bronzers so this one is the Milani bronzer in the XL all over glow um, and it's just bronze glow 01 I'm not sure if this is at the store anymore or what I mean it's a huge pan it's like the size of my side of my face but and it had like two toned colors I would just swirl them together with my brush but it ended up just being kind of too orangey um but I did try and use this for the longest time I just never made a dent in it and the next thing I am sad to see this go only because I wanted to love it and I just I never used it this one is the Tarte bronzer. It, oh my god, and look at that, it just falls right out. <laughs> so that's what it looks like without it, you know, falling out of the pan. Um, let me read the name of it for you. It's the, just Amazon bronzer. Amazon clay. Yeah, just the Amazon bronzer in this packaging. It's from a long, long time ago, so technically, expiration is 12 months, so it's... <laughs> way past the XB date but it's I never used it I just thought the packaging was nice the texture was beautiful but never used it never never used it and I just yes it's a waste of money but I that's why I held on to it so long because I did not want to waste my money even though I was not using it <laughs> but that is it guys I'm gonna stop rambling I need to hurry up and cut this video and trying to get it less than 20 minutes so have a wonderful day bye guys